Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can analyze your western blot into densitometric graphs using ImageJ. So the first thing you need to do is you open your uh, image of your western blot in ImageJ. Then you select the square tool and select the band on the first line. And then you go to analyze and select first line. After that, you use your arrows in your keyboard to move the, the square to the right in order to select the next bands, where you go to analyze and select next lane, and you do all of this in your, in your bands, or in this case, your lanes in your western board. Alternative, alternatively, you can select your first lane with control 1 and the other ones with control plus 2, so you don't have to go all the time to analyze and then select next lane. Now, once you have all the, the band selected, you go to Analyze and Plot Lanes, and a new window will show up with these graphs. Uh, if they are perfect, perfectly formed like these ones in the image, you just click on the Magic Wand uh, tool and select all of them, and you see that the values of the area start to show up in the results. After that, you just uh, copy and paste them in the Excel file. So for the purpose of this video, we will pretend that these values are for the loading control protein, like beta-actin or GAPTH, and I'll make some, some values for our target protein. And for this example, we will also pretend that the first lane is our control, like in a cell, cell culture experiment, and the others are treatments. So after we do the ratio between our target protein and our uh, loading control. We will normalize all the values to the control by dividing the um, all the ratios by the ratio on the the control group. So now I'm just dividing the target protein area into the loading control one. And putting the Excel file a little bit nicer with the naming around it. And now I will divide the ratios by the ratio of the control one in all the, the treatment so we can get our final result. Now that you have the normalized values, of course this is just one experiment, you won't need to have uh, more than one, so you can calculate the mean and the standard deviation of your densitometric analysis, but you can then plot them into a, a column graph, column chart in this case, so you can see which treatments increased or decreased uh, your target protein relatively to the control one. If you like this type of content, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe this video. Thank you guys.